hello guys welcome back again to our channel guys i'm here again today with another cooking video in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how i prepare my delicious nigeria jollof rice so keep watching so to prepare this you need some tomatoes you can use canned tomatoes you can use fresh tomatoes but th for this particular one i'm using fresh tomatoes and i have some red bell pepper here and i'm also using some scotch bonnet pepper and three medium sized onions i'm going to be blending this together yeah i'm going to be blending them all together so here is the rice i'm going to be using for this jollof rice this is short rice yeah so i have my sliced onions here i slice the red and the white onions you can slice either of them or you can mix them as well. So here I have the turkey. This is the turkey I'm going to be using. Yeah. I'm going to be seasoning it with three bay leaf. Thyme. I'm going to add some thyme to it. I'm not measuring this. <laughs> you can add with your wisdom, you know. Here I'm adding some curry and I'm also going ahead to add some oregano. So I will also be adding two seasoning cube and salt. I also added some some grinded um, garlic and ginger that is totally optional but I didn't record it and I add this one scotch bonnet pepper just to make it spicy because I like to feel that spiciness even in my meat <laughs> so you add your onions I add that off camera This is after a few minutes, so you have to cook your meat till you think is good enough for you. Here is the red bell pepper, the tomatoes and the onions I showed you earlier. So you can see it's all clean. And here is after blending them together. I'm going to be boiling them to make sure that water, that extra that excess water you know <laughs> that excess water reduced so i'll just cover it and boil it and here is after boiling my meat my turkey so i'm just going ahead to remove the water i'm sifting out all those those deaths like those things those particles you use in cooking them so i just need just the water to be clean and here is after frying it yeah i fry my turkey so right now i'll go ahead and pour in the rice inside the pot then because i'm going to be parboiling the rice you can also wash yours with hot water that is optional but i just feel parboiling it will remove all the whole starch yeah <laughs> so after that i'll just put another pot on the fire adding my oil so when the oil is heat up i'll just go ahead and add in my sliced onions the sliced onions I show you guys earlier, and I'll go ahead and add uh, three bay leaf, then add some thyme, add some curry, add a uh, seasoning cube.
I think I did show you guys this earlier. So this is sweet tomatoes. If you are living in Spain, you can get this from Mercadona. I got this particular one from Mercadona. Or you can use the normal Nigeria tin tomatoes, Derica, or whichever one you prefer. So I'm going to be using this particular this particular tin tomatoes. So after adding in the tin tomatoes, I'll just leave it for some minutes to cook together. So after some minutes, I'll just go ahead and add my blended tomatoes, red bell pepper, onions, and the pepper. So you can see it has reduced in size because we have boiled out the excess water. <laughs> so after adding that, I'll just give it a good stir and leave it to cook. While the tomatoes is cooking, you need to be checking it and stirring it from time to time to avoid it from uh, getting burnt. Yeah. So after some minutes, I'll go ahead and add in my my stock, my meat stock. Yeah. After adding in the meat stock, you have to stir it and check for your seasonings at this point. So I checked for mine, mine was okay. So I just leave it a little more to, to cook. Yeah. After some minutes, so I'll just go ahead and add in my, my parboiled rice, then add it in and stir it very well, give it a good stir, and add some water if needed, yeah, you need to check first before you add water. So I stirred mine and I needed some water so to cook it, some water to cook it, yeah. And you don't need a lot of water while cooking your jollof because you don't want it to be soaky. Uh -huh. So I add in some water, stir it together and cover it. Cover it to cook and reduce the heat of your, your gas or your stove. So you don't want your jollof rice to be getting burned. So I just leave mine for a few minutes to cook and I came back. It's not really soft yet, but at this point, I just add in some, some onions and uh, some butter. I, I like it in jollof, yeah. So after adding that, I'll just reduce the, the stove very well and cover it for some minutes. Then your jollof rice is absolutely ready. 